I was born with a pulmonary artery in the hole in my heart. Um, it was discovered when I was four when I, we moved to Maryland. I got sick and they took me to the doctors and the doctor asked how long have I had a heart condition and everything, but we were never told. And I went to heart surgery and they put in a conduit. A year later they did a heart catheter and they put stents in to open it up. And then another year later they put another one in. Uh, about one out of every thousand live births has congenital heart disease. It's the most common uh, birth defect. Uh -huh. About half of those patients will need surgery in the first year of life, and that's the half that needs things like this valve, is the patients who need surgery when they're young. So now we have the opportunity to use this catheter-delivered valve, uh, which is inside of a, a stent, of a bare metal stent similar to what people would use on the coronary arteries in an adult, but this is a bigger one. And placed inside of that is the jugular vein of a cow uh, which is actually big enough and has valves in it like human valves that it can maintain normal function in that position. Uh, and so the, um, the idea here is that when the valve wears out inside these conduits or in a, where, where one's been replaced before, that we can replace it using a catheter to deliver this um, jugular vein sewn into a stent and put into place with a, a, a catheter and a balloon that expands it into place. Uh, so the catheter goes in the groin into the uh, inferior vena cava, which is the main vessel that comes back to the heart, and then it's snaked through the heart, through the upper chamber, the right upper chamber called the right atrium, and the right lower chamber called the right ventricle, and placed over a wire out through the, the abnormal outflow tract, and it's um, then blown up with the balloon once it's put in place. Christine had a special kind, a special set of problems that made her need to have a conduit. Other patients have had just the valve replaced and it can be placed inside the valve as well. The purpose of placing a catheter, a transcatheter valve, mm -hmm. was to decrease the stress on the right heart and for her. Mm -hmm. She will ultimately need to have her final open heart surgery procedure that replaces and everything that she has in her her outflow track, her lung arteries, with an adult-sized um, pathway, basically. So she was much more challenging because of the uh, type of surgery that she had had previously. What we were dealing with with her outflow track was a little bit more challenging than the other straightforward uh, procedures that we've done. But it went very well. The results were very good. I think she. Um, felt relatively well considering um, having to undergo a catheterization procedure the other the ne the day before. She felt pretty well the next day. But before I couldn't do sports, I wasn't allowed to do push-ups, sit-ups. I couldn't run. I'd be out of breath quickly. Hopefully, with this, I can do more and more physical activity. Get healthier. <laughs> yeah.